we are going to um, move on to our module lesson today. Our learning target is I can use prepositions to describe where something is located. I can identify and discuss the reasons an author gives to support points in a tree is nice. So this is our learning target and we're going to read a new story called Tree is Nice. Um, but before that, we're going to read this poem called Trees in Our Community. And in this uh, poem, there are many prepositions. Prepositions are little words that help us understand where, um, if, where a person place or thing is. So I want you guys, I'm going today, I'm just going to sing and you guys listen and find preposition words that is going to help us to understand where are trees in our community, okay? And we're going, I'm going to sing to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You guys can sing with me if you would like. Oak tree, oak tree in the park. See the ants crawl up the bark. Willows grow beside the stream. They keep water clear and clean. Maple, maple near the street. Leaves change colors, it is so neat. Quaking aspen outside a home keeps it safe from wind and storm. Paper birch trees on the path use a stick to draw and scratch. Trees in our community give the world joy and beauty. Find a tree and then you'll see how lovely and helpful trees can be. So this is our poem and we're going to find next time all the prepositions in this poem, okay? Until then, you guys can uh, go back and sing the song with me and try to find those prepositions. And we're going to also now read the book, A Tree is Nice, and our learning target for that part is I can identify and discuss the reasons an author, author gives to support points in The Tree is Nice. So we're going to uh, read the story, Tree is Nice, and uh, find, out, uh, find out the author's opinion um, that trees are nice and we will spend next few lessons discovering her many reasons why trees are nice, okay? While I'm reading, I want you guys to um, try to identify those reasons. And in that book, there will be this sentence, a tree is nice, because it makes a shade. So this is one of her reasons why a tree is nice. And she uses the word because to give her reason. So that's, um, that's a good word to use when you are giving reason why something, why you think, uh, for example, tree is nice. And for your homework, you're going to um, describe where the trees are in your module book. So where do you think the trees are? What can you say? How can you start your sentence? The trees are on the hill. Right? That's one of the uh, sentences that I can write here to describe the picture. You're going to turn your book to module book 45. And I need you guys to look at the picture, write the sentence to describe the tree and where it is. 
and submit the picture of your completed work on Class Dojo. So I am going to read the story. Tree is nice. And I want you guys to identify many reasons why a tree is nice, okay? Hey, a tree is nice. The author is Janice May Audrey. What do you think the author does? The author, author writes the story, right? Does the writing of the words. And the illustrator is Mark Simmont. What do you think an illustrator does? An illustrator is, the, is a person who draws the pictures, right? Okay, a tree is nice. Is nice. Trees are very nice. They fill up the sky. You see, the sky is filled up with trees. They go, they go beside the rivers and down the valleys. They live up on the hills. So this is um, one of her many reasons why trees are nice. Trees make the woods, they make everything beautiful. Even if you have just one tree, it is nice too. A tree is nice because it has leaves. The leaves whisper in the breeze all summer long. In the fall, the leaves come down and we play in them. We walk in the leaves and roll in the leaves. That sounds fun. We build playhouses out of the leaves. Then we pile them up with our rakes and have a bonfire. I wonder what bonfire is. Hmm? It's a big fire, right? A tree is nice because it has a trunk and limbs. We can climb the tree and see over all the yards. We can sit on a limb and think about things or play pirate ship up in the tree. So this is one way, one reason why trees are nice. If it is an apple tree, we can climb it to pick up Pick the apples. Cats get away from dogs by going up the tree. Birds build nests in trees and live there. Sticks come off the trees too. We draw in the sand with the sticks. A tree is nice to hang a swing in or a basket of flowers. It is a good place to lean your hoe while you rest. So this is called a hoe. The tree is nice because it makes shade. The cows lie down in the shade, shade when it is hot. People have picnics there too, and the baby takes his nap in his buggy in the shade. The tree is nice for a house to be near. The tree shades the house and keeps it cool. The tree holds off the wind and keeps the wind from blowing the roof off the house sometimes. The tree is nice to plant. You dig the biggest hole you can and put the little tree in. Then you pour in lots of water and then the dirt. You hang the shovel back in the garage. Every day for years and years, you watch the little tree grow. You say to people, I planted that tree. They wish they had one, so they go home and plant a tree too. And this is, this is the end of the story. Okay, guys, you guys know the assignment and see you soon. Bye, guys.